Hello, I'm Edward Tarr, chess enthusiast. This is a solution video for my chess challenge number 38. Here's the situation. This is from a game played by two grandmasters, Carlos Torre, who was white at the bottom, and Emmanuel Lasker, who was black, at the top, played in Moscow in the year 1925. It was Torre's move that is white, and he made an amazing move. He played bishop to f6. That leaves his queen subject to immediate capture. Also, black's queen is unprotected. Lasker undoubtedly saw what was going to happen, and he realized there was no way for him to prevent it. He captured White's queen, and now White is a queen down. Imagine that you are White. What will you do now, and what will be the implications? So, White, here's what you should do, and here's what Torre did. Rook captures g7, check. Black's only move king to h8. Rook captures f7. Discovered check from the bishop. Black's only move. King back to g8. White you play again. Rook to g7. Check. Black's only move. King to h8. Then you play rook takes b7, checking from the bishop. And again, black must play king to g8. Then you play again rook to g7, check. Black must play king to g8. White could capture the pawn on a7 now, but... Torre decided not to, not to give the black rook on a8 a free reign in the a-file. So what he did instead was play rook to g5, again checking from the bishop. This time the king's only legal move is to h7. Then white captures the queen. And in exchange for White's queen, White has gained two pawns and a bishop plus Black's queen. And there you have the solution for my chess challenge number 38. Thank you, Chen Ming, my fabulous chess teacher. If you would like to try four free hours of chess lessons with Chen Ming with no strings attached, please contact me. Thank you for watching.